for stuff uh, with the Manning family. Oh, all right. That's going to dive us into this. Let's talk to Justin Miller, man. Uh, what? He's talking about Ole Miss. Oh, no, he's God, a state guy. That school up north. How Yeah. How much of a little little kid complex do you have to have? <laughs> I thought that love with Dan Mullen, man. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, Ole Miss is retiring Eli Manning's number 10. And I, first off, I want to say this. How ridiculously high are the standards going to be? Are the expectations going to be for Arch Manning? No matter where he goes to school, his grandfather and both of his uncles have all had their jerseys retired at the colleges that they went to. Ole Miss has only got Archie Manning, um, Chucky Mullen, and Eli now. Like, that's it. Justin said a huge complex. You know me, Chris. Uh, (laughs) Tennessee has got Peyton's number retired. Uh, This is... I mean, it's super high expectations for Arch, who is Cooper's kid. Now He's going to meet him because we play this game by numbers, and the way the game is played now, he's going to blow away all three of their college numbers. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. 100%. But, A, he's going to start as a freshman. That's going to happen just about anywhere he goes. Okay? And yeah. then he's going to play four years because his family doesn't need the money and they're probably going to watch the NFL to make sure they can handpick where he wants them to go, and I'm okay with that too. I don't see him coming out early. It, I, I I think this kid is going to blow away everybody's numbers just because of games. I mean, you say how Sam Bradford blew all their numbers away. Yeah. No, you're right. But you're the right. game is just different now. It's just such an offensive, explosive game. Now, the only way he doesn't do that is if he goes to Duke because they're just not going to run an offensive system that's going to showcase his things, which is his talents, which is why there's zero chance of that happening. You you might be right about that. Zero. The ceremony to retire the jersey is supposed to take place September 19th when Ole Miss hosts Auburn. Um, Eli, you know, 2000 to 2003, school's all-time leader in passing yards, 10,119 and touchdowns. He threw 84 uh, he is also the only Ole Miss football player ever to be selected with the number one pick in the NFL draft. He won the 2003 Maxwell Award, which is uh, for the best all-around player in college football. He finished third that year in the Heisman Trophy vote. Um, I I find it a little strange to be retiring the number of somebody that, that didn't even win his division. Like, that seems strange. I don't know. That's just the way. That, that but, means they would never retire another. That means Mississippi State will never retire a number. Well, no, because State at least won their division. Like, that's, you know, under Jackie Sherrill. I mean, they went to the uh, How long ago game. was that? I'm talking about in the future. I mean, that's like, going forward. Yeah, I mean, you might be right. I don't know. I, it just, I don't the know. Game of, the SEC game has changed to be a haves and a have-nots. You have to set your expectation for what is realistic. Eli Manning is the greatest player to ever play at Ole Miss, and and if it's not Eli, it's his dad. So uh, he's he's he was a lot better than his dad. Now the game was way different. Yeah, the game was different. Yeah, that's, way that's different. What I'm saying. But he was better than his dad. He's the best player ever played at school. If yeah. you're not gonna hang his jersey up, then whose jersey you ever gonna hang up? Now you got a you got a massive point there. Um, you take a guy that's not close to this caliber of him, but for some weird reason things flip in the SEC and Lane Train gets it going and they win the division and they win an SEC. You know, hang that guy's up before Eli, even though he's just a product of this new system. Come on, man. That's a, look, look, you have look, to I, have the best guy up there. I think, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think this is, uh, Justin said, Patrick Willis was better than Eli. Eh, I don't think so. Patrick I don't Willis think so. was great. Yes. Great, prob- maybe the second best player to ever come out of Ole Miss. Yes. Uh, Let's see. Ben said, "Is the Maxwell Award a knockoff Heisman?" They sound like the same thing. Yes, basically. Uh, for well, the most I don't part, know if it's a knockoff Heisman. I think the people that win the Maxwell Award have fared far better careers going forward than the Heisman. Yes, uh, the the Heisman has more to do with um, like the the best teams, really. Like that's that's really what that is. So the yep. best player on the best team, or the, the the player that puts up the most stats on the best team. How's that? Um, and then the Maxwell is basically who is the best player in, in football. I mean, yeah. Peyton didn't win the Heisman either. But he won the Maxwell. Won the Maxwell. Yeah. Like, there's there's a, a lot of great players that didn't win Heismans. 
that won Maxwell's, and they kind of went on to far better careers than the Heisman guys. Now, recently, uh, a lot of players that have won the Maxwell have also gone on to win the Heisman. Oh, yeah, no, no. But, it's, it's changing. Well, that, yeah. and that, I just think there's more of a consensus on who the best player is now than there used to be. Yes, yes, agreed. Uh, Michael said, yeah, he's done enough in a football career to get his jersey retired. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we, we had this conversation on whether or not Eli was a Hall of Famer, um, and I, I think, yeah. Like, I, I think I think he has. Um, and, yeah, I think he's he's worthy of having his jersey retired at Ole Miss. I think so. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Obviously, we'll see whether or not uh, there's a, a full he stadium. He did share for a division win because the SEC did that back then. Yeah, he, he did share for one of those. They've uh, they've got that banner hung up. That so. was his senior year. Yep, 2003, and they, they lost to LSU. So, LSU went on to play for the national championship. And, I mean, really, Ole Miss would have – I mean, could Ole Miss have played for a national championship had they had they won that game? Yeah, I mean, we we had the same record. I mean, everything was identical in that game. I mean, the only difference was uh, Ole Miss had already lost a game to Memphis that year. So, well, and we lost to Kentucky. Yeah, but we I lost in right. overtime. We lost it. That was yeah. that was the that was the year where we we were undefeated in regulation. Ben jumps in and says John Rice Plumley uh, Plumley is going to be really good. He's a dark horse Heisman candidate. Uh, you can bet money on that if you'd like. I'll take that action if you if you just want to. I think Plumley I'm, I'm a friendly person to take that money. Plumley fit better in last year's system with Rich Rodriguez than he. Was I don't in care Lakers. about systems. I think so, if you can play, you can play. You know me. I don't well, give, yeah, I but don't I, 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 I just that stuff. he's not a very. Plumley Plumley could be fine. He could he be fine. Be, he's just not I, proven I, I, to be an accurate pass. Not be afraid of any odds you want for Plumley for Heisman. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't that think it's gonna happen. Me. All right, let's move on from that. Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox came out and caused a. Uh, ben said that's what we were saying about Burrow. Just saying. I don't think so. I just. I don't. I don't buy it. I don't think it's the same. I don't think he's got the same supporting cast. But I mean, I've been proven wrong before, so we'll see. We'll see. All right, Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox 